general intuitive and sensitive and animal communicator and Reiki master practitioner here at animallovelanguages.com. This is Pearl Cuts. He's part of my inner species family, the most important part, right? Mm -hmm. and I'm so delighted to welcome you back to the fourth video in our EFT for Pets series, our Emotional Freedom Technique for Pets series. So in the previous three videos, we've talked a little bit about the history of EFT, why wild animals often don't need it, but companion animals often do, how to do it, overview of the energy meridian points, and how to put the emotional, mental, and kinetic or physical portion of the EFT tapping session together with the statement and using it for the release of the trauma or the negative experience, memory, or emotion. In this fourth video, we're going to talk about something rather unique that I do in my work as an animal communicator and energy healer for pets and their people. Now, the pets are my main client when I'm working with a pet, but the person is an adjunct. The person is an important part of that pet's life and of their ability to release whatever trauma or whatever negative memory or emotional experience that they're having. And EFT tapping in this context is not just really beneficial for pets in distress, but also for their people. It can be incredibly transformative when used together with a pet and their person who are experiencing the distress or the trauma together. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that watching your pet deal with trauma or anxiety or fear or some other strong emotion can be really traumatizing for you as well. And I have found that one of the best ways, the most actually essential ways to use emotional freedom technique, and one that I often use with my pet clients and their people is to do what I call a tandem EFT tapping session. I first use myself as a proxy or I have the person tap on their animal if that animal is willing. And if you missed the last video in this series, you want to go back and watch that because we talk a lot more about your options for tapping if the animal is not willing. But first, we want to go ahead and do the EFT session for the animal in whatever way makes sense and contributes to the highest well-being and peace for that animal. And then I return and I guide that animal's person in a round of EFT tapping for themselves. So let's return to our example phrase that we've been using throughout this video series. We're working with a pet who has separation anxiety. So here's how I might alter it to use with the traumatized human who is trying to ease their anxious pet's distress. So the phrase we would use for EFT tapping with our pet is, even though I'm experiencing strong anxiety because I'm afraid my human is going to leave me and never come back, I still deeply and completely love and accept myself exactly the way that I am. So I would go ahead and do the EFT tapping session for that pet first. You wanna get them at least some relief get them on the road to relief as quickly as possible. And then we come back and I would do a tandem session with that person who's been watching their pet struggle and, and work through trauma and go through stuck trauma and distress. And I would alter the phrase to something like this, even though I am experiencing strong anxiety because I am afraid my pet is not going to be able to deal with me leaving the house without extreme fear and distress. I still deeply and completely love myself exactly the way that I am. Another example might be, even though I'm experiencing strong anxiety because I feel like I can't leave the house because my pet is not going to be okay when I am not there, I still deeply and completely love and accept myself exactly the way that I am. So you're getting the idea. So here we're not only acknowledging the pet's distress or trauma, but we're acknowledging that the pet parent is also getting really traumatized by witnessing their pet's distress and is not feeling able to help ease that distress effectively. And there's a deeper aspect to this as well. Earlier in one of the videos, I can't remember which one now, I mentioned how animals think in pictures paired with emotions. 
This is how animals talk with each other and also how they talk to their humans. And it's the foundation of how I teach animal communication to my human students. So let's return to the example of the pet with separation anxiety one more time. What starts to happen when that person has to leave the house and leave their anxious pet behind is that person starts to feel, almost pre-feel into their own distress about what they think their pet's going to feel or how they believe their pet is going to respond to this. So that person, before they're even gone yet, they start to broadcast their anxiety, their own distress or trauma paired with a mental picture of their pet going crazy with anxiety while they're away. So the pet then picks up on what I call people TV because your pet is watching you TV 24 seven. What does the pet see? The pet sees a mental picture of them, their own self tearing up the couch cushions or digging up the lawn or howling or doing whatever the trauma and the anxiety behavior is. And they pick up that mental picture that's attached to a lot of anxiety that the human is feeling. And since this is how interspecies communication basically happens, we trade pictures, pair with emotions back and forth, whether the human in, this, in, the, in the situation realizes that this is how it's happening or not is immaterial. It's happening. So the pet just received a broadcast from their person and their person is broadcasting a mental picture of them going crazy with anxiety and lots and lots and lots of very distressing traumatic emotions paired with that mental picture. The pet then has to make the assumption there's no really, there's no other way the pet would receive this, assumes that's what their person wants them to do while they're out of the home. You see where this is going. So of course that pet is going to go crazy with anxiety and become destructive in some way the moment their person closes the door and locks it to leave the house. So this is a cycle and it's the part of the cycle that most pet parents don't have any idea is going on. And why would you? It's not included in our formal communication classes in school if we even get any of those. It's not something that's been passed down to us in most cases from our parents or our teachers or our mentors. So we don't know we're doing it. We don't know that we're unintentionally actually taking a bad situation and makes, making it even worse for our animal. EFT tandem tapping for pets and people can break that cycle for both the pet in this situation and their anxious person. And really, there isn't going to be full relief from whatever the trauma is, whether the, the human in the equation knows what the pet went through or not, there isn't going to be any any opportunity, any possibility of full relief from that trauma until both the pet and their human have been able to fully release their trauma, which is now shared. So it just makes sense to do tandem EFT treatments to give the pet their very best chance to let the trauma go and also give that pet's person the very best chance to let their shared trauma go so both can return to the present moment with more health, with more wellness, with more happiness. So I hope you've enjoyed this brief series on EFT tapping for pets. You can probably tell there's a lot more where this came from. Emotional freedom technique is just one of the many ways I can work with you and your pet to set the stage for the healthiest, happiest family life for you both. If you enjoyed this video series, you can find more fun free tools for how to become a more intuitive pet parent, how to learn the basics of animal communication, and a lot more over at animallovelanguages.com. And while you're there, don't forget to check out Why You Pick Me, which is a little channeled series from pet species to the people who love them. And please also do like and subscribe, share this video series with a friend who loves animals as much as you do. When you share, when you like, when you subscribe, when you comment, it really helps me out, motivates me, inspires me to keep serving you and to help more animals with valuable content like this. So I really appreciate your time. I know you have lots and lots and lots of stuff online that you could be watching and listening to right now. I appreciate that you chose this series on EFT tapping for pets and their people. And I send you all my love. Bye for now.